In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to do the paired samples t-test using the TI-84 graphing calculator. Um, first, let's start off with getting the data into the graphing calculator. So we're going to go to our stats menu and then choose edit. You can see that I have the data typed in, and this is the data from the textbook problem that I showed previously. And in the textbook problem, we had paired data because each of these values represents the cost of a textbook at the bookstore and at an online retailer. And what we want to do is we want to see if there's a difference in textbook prices on average. One thing that I have to warn you about is the TI-84 does not have a paired samples t-test function in there, but there's a way that we can do this uh, pretty easy. So one of the first things we have to do is we have to calculate the differences, and rather than doing that by hand, we're going to use functions in the calculator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go second in the number one to pull up list one, and then subtract list two from that. So second and the number two gives me list two. And then I want to store this into list three. And if you hit enter, you'll see that it gives you the values of the differences. And when you go into your graphing calculator and you look at your list, you'll see now you have a list three where it took list two and subtracted that from list one and automatically calculated the differences. So now if you want to do the, the paired samples t-test, you can use the one sample t-test, but we're going to have to use that on list three. So I'm going to go over to the stats menu again, and I'll go over to tests. That's where we find all our hypothesis tests. And now I'm just going to select the t-test. And we have data that we're going to use as our input. The hypothesized uh, value for the, the population mean of the differences is zero. The data is stored in list three. If this isn't list three, you would just go second and the number three to pull up list three. We'll leave the frequency at one. And then if you recall, the alternative hypothesis was mu is not equal to mu zero or mu is not equal to uh, zero in this case. And then if you go down and you calculate, this will generate the output for the test statistic in the p-value. And you can see our test statistic is 2.8. 884 if we round that to three decimal places and our p-value is 0 0.0181 if we round that to four decimal places. So this is how we can do the paired samples or dependent samples t-test using the TI-84 graphing calculator.